In the pipeline industry, we work with several different objects that are often stored under tension. One of them is coil pipe. Every year, an average of three Miller Pipeline employees are injured after releasing tension on coil pipe. There are two common ways these injuries occur. One is, they release the bands around the pipe while a body part is between two pinch points. The simple fix for this is to keep all body parts back away from the pipe trailer while releasing the bands. The second and more common way our employees are injured is they cut the pipe without securing the ends first. Remember, coil pipe is under an extreme amount of tension while it is unrolled, and if it is not properly secured before releasing the tension, the ends can flip backward violently. Here are three different ways to secure the ends of coil pipe before cutting it. The best way to secure a coil pipe while cutting it is to have a coworker hold it while you cut it. Another good way to secure the pipe is to use a pair of lineup pliers while making the cut. If a coworker is not around and you don't have any lineup pliers available, you will have to maneuver your body to secure both sides while you're making the cut. One way to do this is to cut through the pipe while leaving the last cut and then using your leg and hand to secure both sides of the pipe, as seen here. Another way is to kneel down and pin one side of the pipe to the ground with your knee while holding the other side with your hand, as seen here. There are two last points of emphasis to make about cutting coil pipe. The first is not to underestimate the small stuff. Small diameter coil pipe is under tension as well and has also caused injuries to previous Miller employees. And the second is to tell all new employees about this hazard. It's something they probably don't realize unless they've worked in our industry before. Thanks for watching and be careful.